For the first time, the Arno 2 racing motorboat and the engine that propelled it, that of the Tipo 158 Alfetta, were exhibited together in Sea Horses exhibition. In the year of Alfa Romeo's 110th anniversary, the RSA Museum pays homage to this fascinating and not yet fully explored chapter with an exhibition entitled Sea Horses. On display, from October 17, 2020 to February 21, 2021, boats and objects that tell the other life of the Bichonet engines, from competitions to public transport, from military vehicles to pleasure boats, up to the fishing boats used on horseback in World War II for supply company canteens. Alfa Romeo has won on water almost as much as on the track and on the road. Brand historically linked to the world of racing, Alfa Romeo also has a rich palmaris in motor boating. Alone, nine of the ten boats on display, the tenth is a pleasure model, have collected in the various categories something like 11 world records, 6 world championships, 7 European and 9 Italian, as well as 5 gold medals of the Connie. The exhibition traces all the types of engines that have dominated power boating, from the legendary Alfettas to the various declinations of the twin shaft, up to the Montreal and the Tipo 33. In the motorboat field, the engines, modified in a marine version, were often given exclusively for temporary use only and managed on the racing fields directly by the Alfa Romeo Racing Department. This is the case, for example, of the Alfetto engines. Thus the exhibition is an opportunity for a historic return, the meeting between Arno 2, a sleek monohull built by the Picciotti shipyard in Via Reggio in 1946, specially restored, after 70 years, for this exhibition, and the engine that at the time mounted, that of the Alfetta 158. Also on display are other models with impressive Palmaris, the Low Stick 2, an inboard racer of the LV 1300 class built by the Celli shipyard in Venice and powered by the 1300 engine of the Giulietto AR530. In 1964 he set three cross-country world records in the 5, 10 and 15 miles of his class. Then there is the Molinari Alfa Romeo 2500, the only existing example, which in 1966 won the world title. Built for the motornaut of the Augusta Fortunato Libanori team, it has an aeronautical aluminium alloy body made by the Augusta Helicopter Department. And again, the Dalla Pieta, Alfa Romeo hull which in the European runabouts, in board sport category won three European and two Italian titles between 1968 and 1970. Also on display is Molivio, Alfa Romeo GTA on which Leopoldo Casanova, driver and record holder of the Alfa Romeo Auto Delta in board engines, from 1968 to 1972 he won a European title, four Italian titles, and set the world speed record four times in three classes. The 1970 Celli is the first of the four 2500 racers powered by the Marine Montreal Auto Delta and was piloted by Antonio Petrobelli, famous driver winner for over ten years of Italian, European and world circuit racing titles. The racing motorboat series is completed by a racer built by the Lucini shipyard in Como for Franco Candando, the Lucini Alfa Romeo 2000 winner of the R3 world record in 1974 and, the following year, world champion. Finally, there is the Popoli Alfa Romeo from the Alfa Romeo Museum collection. With this Type 33 hull and engine brought to 2.5 litres by Auto Delta, Leopoldo Casanova set the world speed record in the KC500 kg class, still unbeaten, at an hourly average of 225,145 km h.